have to say, my birthday was on Friday, and I really wish that choir was the one that sang happy birthday to me. It's rousing, I love it. Well, once again, welcome to this wonderful celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Ambassador of Kazakhstan, His Excellency Erjan Kazakhanov. Good evening, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure to welcome you to the celebration of Kazakhstan's Independence Day, the 26th anniversary of our birth as a modern nation. On this special occasion, I am delighted to welcome our guest of honor, Ms. Lisa Curtis, Deputy Assistant to the President and National Security Council Senior Director on South and Central Asia. Thank you for being with us tonight. I am delighted to see so many of our friends and partners. Your friendship and support often going back to our earliest days as an independent nation has been important to us. The strategic partnership between Kazakhstan and the United States that we have built in the course of the past 26 years matured into a strong bond of mutual trust, commitment, and genuine friendship of which both countries can be truly proud. Kazakhstan has proved to be a trusted and reliable partner of the United States, both regionally and internationally. In a relatively short time, under the wise leadership of President Nazarbayev. And with the support of our friends, Kazakhstan has made a positive mark on the world and is seen as a committed campaigner for peace, dialogue, and international cooperation. Whether in renouncing the world's fourth largest nuclear arsenal in our earliest days, or launching IEA low enriched uranium fuel bank this summer, uh, or using our good office to help resolve conflicts, or investing massively to improve transport links across Central Asia, we have, I believe, led by example. It was in recognition of these records and our values that Kazakhstan has honor to sit on the United Nations Security Council. In addition to this global role, Kazakhstan has pursued an ambitious development program which has delivered unprecedented economic growth and seen the living standards of our people rise more than tenfold. An economy open to foreign investment and partnership has been an important driver to this success. We remain as ambitious for the future and have embarked on our third modernization program announced by President Nazarbayev this year. Our American and other international partners are already benefiting from the improved investment climate and strengthened microeconomic stability, as well as new areas and opportunities for doing business in and with Kazakhstan. The successful Expo 2017 in Astana this summer was another example of our determination both to modernize our economy and collaborate to promote sustainable growth and prosperity internationally. I would like to thank everyone who supported this landmark project to, that transformed our nation's 20 years old capital into a hub for cutting edge technology innovation, and leadership. Dear friends, I was, it has been another important year in Kazakhstan's development and uh, in the growing strategic partnership between Kazakhstan and the United States. Let me end by thanking you again for joining us to this celebration, and I have the great honor of inviting Ms. Lisa Curtis to say a few words. Thank you very much. Thank you.